name is Obetina Gurare from the NCRS team, and I'm here to read to you the outcome of the program that we've been missing with for the past three days. I know we, we are happy we are here now, the three days are over almost, but the ministers we just have to approve the statement as to our discussion in the consultation that we've seen. So, please bear with me. Uh, the ministers in charge of um, higher education, ICT, digital technologies, communications, science, and innovation from the Southern African countries, seven of them, together at the UNESCO Southern African Sub Regional Forum on Artificial Intelligence, co hosted by the government of Namibia and UNESCO in Windhoek from the 7th to the 9th of September. Recognizing that artificial intelligence is fast transforming the world and the future of humanity, raising complex questions and blurring traditional boundaries of uh, the physical, digital, and biological worlds, influencing human thinking, interaction, and decision making, and raising socio economic, ethical, economic, ethical, and political risks engendered by the use of IT. Systems mainly produced outside our region that often rely on low quality and non representative data with limited knowledge of local languages and indigenous knowledge, guided by the recommendation of the ethics of artificial intelligence adopted by the 41st session of the General Conference of UNESCO and addressed by the member states, both as AI actors and as authorities responsible for its effective implementation and the development of the policy, legal, and regulatory frameworks needed throughout the entire IA system's um, life cycle to respect human dignity and exploit the full potential presented by the fourth industrial revolution. And I'm sure this word we had presentation also talking how um, um, African countries or SADC was um, different countries presented here was getting ready for the fourth industrial revolution. <laughs> Conscious of promising regional networks of AI, um, AI experts in Southern Africa, and the AI technologies are being went, uh, widely used in the region, and that this requires policymakers, economic actors, the people to understand how AI, AI technologies can impact their life and to collab um, collaboratively engage in AI policy dialogue and government governance to harness the potential of AI for the common good. Acknowledge that the use of AI in our countries can impact human lives, especially the youth, who constitute approximately 60% of the sub-Saharan population. This has been emphasized um, that um, the SADC or sub-Saharan, the, the population is being made up of the youth and therefore we will be emphasizing um, the, the um, incorporation of youth in all our um, projects and everything that we do. AI must contribute to safeguard human uh, dignity and human rights, as well as gender equality, social justice, economic development, and environmental and ecosystem protection, thus contributing to build a prosperous future for our young generation. Observing significant gaps in awareness, knowledge, and human resources, Capabilities in the um, different or human resource capabilities in the different domains of AI, including the ethical implications between government institutions, independent oversight bodies, human rights institutions, judiciary and law enforcement bodies, as well as the private sector and the general public in Southern Africa. Recognizing the existence of gender bias in artificial intelligence and its profound impact on the lives of women and girls, linked to the low numbers of women in AI and emerging technologies related um, research, development and innovation, and gender bias in data, and its impact on the whole of society. Bearing in mind the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and International Human Rights Frameworks, whereby member states have pledged uh, themselves to achieve incorporation with the United Nations, the promotion of universal respect for their observed uh, freedoms. Affirming the US operational strategy, let me just um, take this off so we can get some of my weight. 
um, affirming UNESCO cooperation strategy for priority Africa with a flagship program on harnessing new and emerging technologies for sustainable development in Africa, including through the implementation on the recommendation of the ethics of AI and taking note of the findings of the UNESCO's artificial intelligence needs assessment survey in Africa and of the UNESCO basically the study of the AI policies and use in Southern Africa that indicates that the need to strengthen AI governance and capacities and to invest more efforts in AI education, research and training. Honorable <coughs> Minister, ladies and gentlemen, taking, taking into account the study protocol on science, technology and innovation, as well as the decision of the joint meeting of study ministers of education and um, training in science technology, which uh, took place in Nilongwe, Malawi, to review its implementation to align with the new policy environment uh, related to SDI, supporting the static industrialization strategy in roadmap and the static regional integrative strategic development plan 2020 to 2030, which calls for mobilizing financial resources for industrial pollution and substantial higher investment infrastructure upgrading and diversifying the capital stock in the provision of the high technology skills necessary in modern industry through science, technology, and innovation. I um, think this statement has been re-emphasized um, during the past few days. And I think there's a um, logic that we have to um, keep emphasizing. Highlighting some regional uh, frameworks such as model laws on data protection, cybercrime, e-commerce, transactions, as well as static cyber infrastructure uh, framework, a strong and useful guiding legal framework that are relevant to the current and future legislation on AI, emphasizing the effective use of AI in disaster risk reduction and resilience building in supporting both national, regional strategies and action plans in the area of climate change, uh, green, blue, and circular economics, which will economies which will require investment in infrastructure, critical data collection, support of open science, international cooperation, integration of indigenous language and knowledge, and citizen science into AI development and deployment. Congratulate certain African countries that have proactively put in place to relevant national advisory task force and committed ascertain their position in the fourth industrial revolution. I um, uh, previously alluded to that. Reaffirming the outcome statement of the UNESCO firm on artificial intelligence in Africa held in Morocco that calls for the organization of sub regional forums in Africa to facilitate exchange elaborations of strategic frameworks and action plans in view of an AI strategy for Africa and the draft static digital transformation strategy, express our gratitude to government of Namibia and um, UNESCO for the organization of the Southern Africa Sub-Regional Forum on AI to facilitate both technical and policy directives on AI for hosting the UNESCO World Press Freedom Day International Conference um, 2021 which adopted the uh, Windhoek 30 plus declaration and the African ministers of ICT forum, which discussed the need for multi stakeholders approaches to AI governance and the need um, um, for transpar transparency and accountability of digital technology and internet companies, and recommending the statement to advance standard setting initiatives, foster cooperation and exchange of expertise involving all AI stakeholders, as well as strengthening cooperation between Southern African countries and UNESCO, as uh, foreseen through SADC UNESCO Joint Plan of Action 2022 to 2025, including through the establishment of a Southern African coordination mechanism for the implementation of the UNESCO recommendation on the ethics of AI governance. And therefore, what is the recommendation under this team is to develop knowledge in line with African ethical values and to understand
understand the socio-technological implication of AI in order to work with different stakeholders to co-create Africa-centric governance frameworks with a holistic approach to the sustainable and ethical development and use of AI. To adapt and also recommending adoption um, of anticipatory approaches to AI policy making and incorporate implementation plans based on strategic national intent expressed through well configured strategies and related frameworks. Another recommendation under the um, first theme or theme um, AI and data governance review, update, and develop regulatory and legal frameworks, including science, technology, and innovation, ICT digital transformation. Um, for IR policies and sector specific strategies, um, and, um, for example, the e governance, e um, health, e finance, and e learning, all in relation to AI. Um, another point or uh, recommendation under the team um, consider the registration tools to safeguard and use of high risk. AI, including facial recognition technologies and AI use in healthcare and education. We also had a presentation on this um, um, specific um, topics uh, Wednesday as well as yesterday. Uh, benchmark national AI policies against global, continental, and regional AI frameworks and strategies. Um, another uh, recommendation is enact data, national data protection laws to create strong personal data protection safeguards and guarantee uh, data free flow with trust based on inter, um, interoperable and common standards, including between private sector, academia, and governance. Um, we did, uh, 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 there was a discussion on data security. Um, another recommendation is to establish frameworks for data governance with special attention to um, essential data sites in um, national data centers of member states for state sovereignty in sustainable manner. Uh, promote transparency of um, AI around the rhythms to allow for public oversight and avoid uh, embedded biases or biases rather. Mitigate and um, the digital divide by fostering open and competitive markets, taking into account.